How do you feel like you got where you're at today? Is it Man, natural? Well, there's, a, there's a lot to unpack. I don't even know where to start. Um, I think I got here by definitely just like following my passions or the things that inspire me. I've, I've always done things based on like ex what I want to experience out of life, you know, like even things that have been challenging. I was up for the challenge based on the experience, never really the outcome. So I don't really do things based on an outcome. I just do it because like, you know, I want to be able to like know what it feels like to be on stage singing in front of people, you know, whether it's fucking 15 or, or 2000 or whatever, you know. Um, it's interesting. I was talking to a friend of mine about manifestation, right? He's super into manifestation. I love manifestation. Yeah. I love it. Dude. <laughs> and it's, a, you know, it, I think a lot of people are, you know, I think when that book, um, what was it? The, um, the secret, is yeah, it the secret yeah, came yeah. out. I think a lot of people got introduced into manifestations, but, um, I guess I've always wanted to do this, right? But I was unaware of it. And I, because at the time I was, when I was younger, it was more survival, right? Yep. I, I came here as an immigrant when I was four years old. My parents didn't speak the language. So I was the first one in my family being the oldest to speak English. And then wow. so I became kind of like the translator between my parents and whatever else was happening, you know, whether it was landlords or you paying bills or whatever. But so for me, I was in survival mode always. So, but as a child, you have, you know, dreams, you know, and not too long ago when my mother passed away, um, my sister found a, a shoe box, mm. you know, that had a bunch of like drawings and photographs that they were my belongings, but I had forgotten about them or they were my stuff that my mom collected mm. of me as a child. And my sister asked me if I wanted it. I said, yes, picked it up. And I started looking through it. And there was all this stuff that I never even remembered. And there was a, a little drawing that I had drawn. And it was like a little stick figure. And I don't know how old I was when I drew this, right? But it was obviously that I drew it. My name was on there. And this little stick figure is on a stage by himself with a microphone. And there's all these little stick figures in front of him. And on, on top of it, it says Hollywood, mm. you know? So I had already, like, it was already in my subconscious. You yeah. know? I think as a kid, I was already thinking, like, yo, I want to do this. But then the road that I was on and the, the reality that I was living, that wasn't something that was accessible mm. at the time. So I think I just put it away and forgot about it, did that drawing. But obviously, I had created a sigil, right? Yep. And not only had I created a sigil, but it was it was a seed that was in my subconscious mind for you know decades because mm. I didn't start early you know I'm I'm 47 years old you know I started when I was doing music 10 years ago when I was 37 mm. I'm a late bloomer you know and it's crazy that that you know I had drawn this thing of me being a singer and on stage went about my life and then you know 37 years later, I'm, I'm actually doing it. And now here I am with you having this conversation about it. So fucking awesome, dude. It, 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 it confirms with me why that's to me, that's, I, I, the, I'm, I'm telling you right now, I see iconic people and I go, why, why are they so you're not trying to be anything, but what you are. It's the through line. I see, I get, I've been lucky enough to be around so many iconic people and there's this through line. They're not trying to be. Yeah. And they wouldn't call themselves either. And yeah. I say it, I call it out because that's just who I am. I, I am, I get, I'm such a fan of special. And what I see when you tell me that story is it reaffirms what I believe that everyone has potential. Human potential is a thing. Yeah. And I mean, for me, for example, like I was always around like really amazing 
you know, musicians, and I myself don't really consider myself a, a musician. I consider myself more of a magician in the sense where I just make things happen, you know, and, um, and I go about it in a way that's very true to myself and true to my nature. I don't really come from like, I didn't go to school to learn how to do these things, you yeah. know, how to produce or how to write songs. And I'm around these amazing people now that I'm like, oh, wow, you studied this, you know, and you work at this. I don't. Mine is completely in, 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 instinctual. Yep. You know, it's all instinct. It's very primitive the way that I do things. You know, I come from, you know, um, a lot of it is just me trying to understand or explore my self-identity more than anything it's more i'm in like this journey of self-exploration and self-awareness and i do it through whether it's painting whether it's writing whether it's you know making music all of it you know allows me to look into my own self if that makes any sense you know so um i don't really i don't really can't really explain it, but I do know that it hasn't failed me yet, you know, and everything that I've done, it's always, I've just, I just follow that inner voice, 